Welcome to part two of solving systems by substitution. And in these systems, when we are solving by substitution, it looks like we're going to have to use distributive property. So in this equation, we are going to look at either one of these equations. The reason why I use the substitution method is where I can isolate a variable really easily. And it looks like in the first equation, I can move this negative one over onto the left hand side and that would leave me y by itself. So I have 4x equals y minus one. And when I go ahead and add a positive one to both sides, I then have y equals 4x plus one. Here is the isolation of the variable y, and I have the expression, which is 4x plus one. So let's go ahead and plug that expression into our next equation. So I have 6x minus 2y equals a negative 3. Wherever I see an x, I, I'm plugging in for y. So I'm going to keep that x minus 2 times the value of the expression of y, which would be 4x plus 1 and then it will all equal a negative three. So as we're solving, we're gonna bring down that six X, negative two times four X is a negative eight X, negative two times a positive one is a negative two, and that equals a negative three. So when we move around to the next, it looks like we have to do some combining like terms, so it looks like I have negative 2x minus 2 equals a negative 3. Let's go ahead and add 2 to both sides. And it looks like that that equals 0. We have a negative 2x equals negative 3 plus 2 is a negative 1. When I divide by a negative 2 on both sides, I'm going to go ahead and move my answer up here. I will have x equals, and a negative and a negative equals a positive, so I'm going to have a positive one half. There is my value in my solution, my x value in my solution, and I'm going to go, as I said, or in class, box to box. I'm going to go ahead now and plug in that one half into y equals 4x plus 1 y equals 4, where I see the x, I'm going to put the parentheses, and then plus 1. So I'm going to add that 1 half in here, and I'm going to say 4 times a half. 4 times a half, there's 4 halves. Well, 4 halves is the answer of 2, because 4 times 1 is 4, and 1 times 2, because remember this would be like over 1, 1 times 2 is 2, 4 divided by 2 gives me 2, plus 1. So my y coordinate in the point of intersection is y equals 3. So in my final solution, giving my answer on a test, I would then make sure that I put it in an ordered pair, which is 1 half 3. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's try one more. As we're practicing our distributed property, bam, it all disappears. Let's go ahead and move this problem out, move the new problem in. Oh, it looks like we have a fraction in our problem. And guess what? It is already solved for y. So y equals 1 half x plus 2. That is all ready for us to go to plug in to our value of the next equation. So here I have a negative y. Wherever I see a y, I'm going to open up those parentheses, equals negative 2x plus 4. Notice that I see a negative y, so I don't include it, and sometimes I have to be very careful, and that's why I add the parentheses so I don't accidentally lose that negative sign because that negative sign is important. So let's go ahead and plug in 1 half x plus 2. Here we go. Let's distribute. When we distribute, this is usually an imaginary one, so it's a negative one 
times one half x gives me a negative one half x. Negative one times a positive two gives me a negative two equals a negative two x plus four. Now we're just solving a regular equation with variables on both sides. So let's go ahead and add 2x to both sides. That gives me 0. And now I say I would have 2 minus a half is 1 and 1 half. 1 and 1 half can be written as an improper fraction of 3 over 2. x minus 2 equals 4. Let's go ahead and add 2 to both sides. Therefore, that gives me 0. I'm going to go ahead and move it right over here. So I have 3 halves x equals 6, because 4 plus 2 is 6. Right there. Now 3 halves x, I can multiply what is called by the reciprocal, or I can see the reciprocal means the opposite. I can multiply both sides by 2 thirds, and this is going to be 6 over 1, so when I multiply it by 2 thirds, I can just multiply the numerator by numerator and the denominator by denominator. Okay, so the, the 2's cancel out, the 3's cancel out, leaving me x by itself. That's the reason of multiplying by a reciprocal. And then 6 times 2 is 12. 1 times 3 is 3. So 12 divided by 3 is x equals 4. So here we go, box to box. Let's put it back into the original problem. y equals 1 half. For x, I'm going to put the value of 4. And then I'm going to add 2 at the end. So y equals 1 half times 4. Half of 4 is 2. 2 plus 2, y equals 4. So it's just pretty darn cool that in my solution, I have a value of my answer, I should say, is 4, 4. That is the point of intersection. And so, ladies and gentlemen, that will give us where our two lines meet.